This is a work that Lorena O'Grady produced in response to a comment that she heard from an acquaintance that said that black people have nothing to do with avant-garde art. So what Lorena O'Grady did is she decided to create a work that would be an avant-garde artwork, but using the black community and really making them the center, the focus of the work itself. So in 1983, she attended along with many of her volunteers that you'll see in the photographs. They're the ones that are wearing the white outfits. She attended the African American Day Parade in Harlem. And what she asked her volunteers to do was to walk through the parade and engage with the parade goers and just engage with the community. And she gave them all these, these golden gilded frames. And the moment that you think of a gold frame, you think of an artwork, you think of something that is being elevated to the status of something important, an important artwork. So the volunteers would engage with the community members and frame themselves, you know, using these gold frames. And you can see how they're engaging with the volunteers, how they're engaging with each other. So the smaller frames were used to really highlight the people that are part of the community. And then she also had these large floats with these very large uh, golden gilded frames. And those were used to frame the actual buildings, the neighborhood, to really focus on the kind of structure of the community. So this is a work that is really celebrating black people and black culture. It's celebrating all, the entire community. And so it's a very happy, work and as you walk through and see all the different photographs there are so many faces of so many people who are just enjoying their time engaging with the volunteers engaging with the frames and it's a really positive and celebratory work and so we saw it as the perfect work really to conclude a show that is doing the same we are we are celebrating through the exhibition polyphonic the different voices of the black community that can come together and still you know, create a perfect harmony within the gallery. Their unique voices individually, of course, matter on their own, but when they come together, they also create this really beautiful symphony. I think that this work can speak to our inherent hope in the future. The moment that you can look at this work as something that is humanizing the community and celebrating the differences of our community, then you can really engage with it in the way that I think it was intended to be engaged with. Even though this was made in 1983, in 2020, I'm looking at this work and I'm, I'm, I have the ability now to bridge a gap between myself and all of those around me and the people who are represented in that work. That gap is bridged through art and through the representation that you see in these photos. So it is difficult to talk about these issues and we're, we are living at a time where I think we need to be inherently hopeful and active and speak out against injustices. And Lorraine O'Grady's work speaks to how that can be done through art. And that is what we do best at a cultural institution like PAM.